Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video today. Well, we are going to be checking out a cargo ship, but this cargo ship is special. Otherwise, I really wouldn't be making a video about it, honestly. So basically, it has a crane that can, you know, fly. It's not a very common trait for cargo ships to have a flying crane on them, but this one does. And we're going to be transporting some cargo, obviously. What else would we be doing, right? So, uh, I don't want to dump this car into the ocean. It looks kind of expensive, doesn't it? Oh, well... Oh, okay, 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 somehow, somehow I accidentally dumped this off the edge. And I don't know how, but it maintained enough grip to drive back up. That's a good car then. Alright, well, uh, let's get onto the ship. And really, like, I don't know anything about the ship aside from the fact that it has a flying crane on it. Uh, apparently I think it also has an elevator. That's not a common thing to see. Yeah, yeah, it actually has an elevator with a working sign on it. That's really cool. Now, I'm guessing the place to drive this boat is at the very top, so that's where we're going to be going. And now, is this the correct spot? I think it is. But I couldn't help but notice um, the massive word that say sinking machine. Like, what is this? Kind of scary. Okay, so I'm going to increase my throttle to around a third. And what we just want to do is get around to the side right next to those cargo containers. Okay, we should start slowing down now. There we go. The closer we get to the containers, the easier it's going to be to load them. I mean, probably goes without saying, doesn't it? And let's put the throttle down to zero. Okay, now we just got to figure out how to load the containers, which might be a little bit more tricky than I thought. Maybe floor four. Okay, we've got a ton of... Whoa, we have hazmat suits. Is there a nuclear reactor on this ship? Oh yeah, look, there's a radiation symbol here. I think that means there. this ship might be powered by a nuclear reactor. Okay. Now, well, here is our flying machine. I guess it's on the bottom floor. So uh, let's call the elevator and then go on down to floor one. Here we go. Now, normally there are windows, but I guess now that we're in floor one, there aren't any because we're, you know, underwater. Whoa, what is this? Look at this. This is where the water is supposed to be, I guess. And I guess this is just a visual glitch, but I can see the water. And when I go out here, I can't anymore. That's so weird. Oh, and it looks like the you can see the water on the outside through this glass. Th that is so weird. Okay, I'm going to turn this key button. I need to open this hatch. Uh, I'm going to click the release button. Is this going to do anything? Oh no, oh no, oh no, never mind. That is not good. I'm going to turn this back off because our propellers are hitting the ceiling. And uh, it looks like I found the nuclear reactor. There's a very distinct humming sound coming from it. It's very loud. Oh, oh, I think I figured it out. Yes, I opened the hatch. Okay, and once... Oh, okay, we are already automatically going out. That's cool. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm going to open every other hatch to make loading a bit easier. How do you control the flyer? Uh, something just happened. Why did the ship suddenly turn? Why is the ship turning so much? What happened? I just clicked the release button. Um, oh no. Okay, I'm glad I'm flying here because something is definitely wrong with the ship. I am so glad I'm in the flying machine and not, you know, down there where the ship is literally turning vertical. Okay, so, uh, I reloaded a save. This is before, you know, the ship decided to flip over and stuff. Let's do what we did earlier and slowly rise up. There we go. Oh no, oh no. Okay, now the ship isn't freaking out. Now it's the flying machine that's freaking out. Okay, better work correctly this time. I don't see anything that might go wrong. Please, okay, okay. Now I'm not sure if you're meant to be loading the containers underneath the ship or on top. And I don't know which one's easier. Just trying to get used to the controls here. I, I bet I'll be in this helicopter thing. Is this a helicopter? I don't know what this is. But I bet I'll be in this creation for a while. Because I do have like a bunch of containers to load. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to that one video where I decided to load every single container here. In that gigantic spaceship thing. Oh, that took way too long. Does this thing not have strafing capabilities? Okay, it does. Good. I think we might be able to grab this first container real quick. Okay, please, please work first try. Okay, of course it didn't work first try. So we're trying again. Second time's the charm. Okay, no, third time's the charm. 
Okay, guess what I did, guys? I connected rope. Okay, I guess connecting rope was not a smart move. Why does it do this? Why? Why is it so unstable? Please, just connect. And you won't have to be unstable. Why is it doing this? Okay, we gotta land on the ground. Please, just let me land on the ground. Ugh. Oh no, we're upside down. This is taking so long. How about we just collect one container? I know, I know, cargo ships are supposed to carry like 20. Especially that one over there. But do you really think I'm gonna be able to load all of these in a reasonable amount of time? Oh! Oh yes! Oh, yes, we finally did it. Let's not celebrate just yet. We do have to load this onto the cargo ship, which I am very worried about. But, like, it w it can't be that bad, right? Yes! Okay, and then we click release. We go upwards, and then, watch this. I can click the close button. Yes! Look at that, the container's lowering itself. That's so cool. As I said, yes, we are only loading one piece of cargo on board. Okay, now all we've got to do is land the flying machine. And there we go. We can turn off the engine. And over here is our beloved container that I just spent way too long trying to get onto the ship. Anyways, we can finally get out of here. I just got an idea. Since there's windows along the back, right? This is where the elevator goes. We can actually watch ourselves go up. So I'm going to unpause the game now. And look at that. Do you, do you guys see that? It's me. You can actually see me. Okay, so our cargo is going to... Where is it going? Yeah, we're shipping it over to this uh, village. It's not very far, I know. But that's where we were told to ship it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. We did beat ourselves there. But nothing bad seems to have happened so that's okay we are at like a 30 degree angle i mean while this boat drives itself to our destination which will take a while because this thing's pretty slow why don't we look around the rest of the ship we've already gone to floor four so i'm going to go to floor three. Oh, floor three is just outside okay then floor two i think floor two has like a bunch of seats and a kitchen if i'm not mistaken and yep there's a bunch of seats and there's the kitchen it's got like a sink and a stove we've got some first aid kits i'll take those and looks like just a place for people to sleep and floor one is where the nuclear reactor is well we've seen it before all right guys it's been a while and we are finally at the village now let's pull up close to the beach anyways well we have arrived at our destination over here so all i have to do now is load the containers off onto this dock or something i don't know where they want me to load the containers onto and then we're done so uh, well i'm gonna end this video here if you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye